Hey guys, how's it going? It's Jewel Tolentino here. Alright, so in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do a cool transition by overlapping two videos so that they can see through into each other in Camtasia. Alright, so I'm here in Camtasia and I'm going to show you how to do a cool transition by overlapping your videos and not just having them side by side and putting the one of the transitions in. So I'll show you what I mean here. So I've got two media here and let's just clip it. I just need two short clips just as testing purposes. So I will just clip that and then I'll move this to the side and then I need some of this here and I will just clip that. I only need two short clips. I'm going to lower down the sound so that it won't bother us while we're editing. And then this one is actually a smaller clip so I'm actually just going to extend it so it's the same size as the other one. Okay, so I've got two clips here. Now, usually when you do a transition from one video to another, you just put them beside each other like this, and then you head over to transitions, and let's say fade through black is usually what I always do as a transition, and then let me just play it. When you play it, it's going to do the transition, and it's literally going to go from one clip to the other. But what if you wanted to do a cool effect where they are on top and then they're going through each other? So let me show you what I mean. I'm going to delete that transition. And let's say we wanted to do the transition like halfway through. Let me move this to the middle so that we'll just have it in the center here. So let's say we want this. The thing is, if you play this, it's just going to play, 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 and then when you have a clip on top of it, it's just going to switch over to that clip. It's not going to transition. So let me show you the method here. So you want to be using animations. Head over to animations and then click over to animations again. So when you're in animations, you want to head over to custom. And I want this clip to fade out into this clip. So I've got this animation here. And I want to lessen the opacity. Let's say just to there. So let's play it right now. And then it's going to get lighter and lighter and fade into the other clip. Now that was quite abrasive and aggressive so we want this to have a fade in. So this clip you need to go back to animations, add a custom animation on top here. You can place these wherever you want. And sorry I just remembered I'm gonna delete this and go to this clip first and you actually need to remove the opacity completely first and then add the animation. I forgot to do that. So I'm going to add the animation and then you can add it wherever so you can move this down if you want. And then at this point I want to, to start coming back into full video on the next video. So let's play this here. So it's full, okay, now it's going to start to transition into the other clip. Now it took a little bit long for it, but you saw there just a quick second there, you saw that it started going into the other video. What I could actually do is actually extend this. So I'm going to extend this all the way to the beginning so that it looks more of the meshing that is happening and then I'm gonna extend this as well so you can kind of see already it's happening we're being meshed into each other 
and then I'll start to play it here and then the meshing is going to happen a lot more smoothly and you can do a lot of cool effects with this you can do like a ghost effect or if like a replication effect or like sort of a dreamy effect in your projects by doing this effect so that is how you do a cooler transition when you are layering like you can do this with more than two videos you can do it with a bunch of different videos and have something totally abstract happening you know it's really endless what you can do with this type of a transition so that is how you do a cool transition with videos overlapping each other rather than using the typical transitions which are more sort of like clean cut going from one clip to another this is like it's got it meshed and it kind of like bleeds into each other alright guys well that was it for this video if I was able to help you out at all please let me know by giving this video a like a comment or subscribe all that would be very much appreciated and if you like these videos head down to the description below as I have a bunch more free Camtasia tutorials for you guys if you are interested in getting Camtasia you can also head down and check out those links as well Alright guys, well thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.